Okay, uh, first responders bill got through the appropriate Senate committee. It's going to the Senate floor. Tell us about this bill, uh, what you've heard, and uh, why this is so important to Idaho's first responders. Today, the bill took a great first step, and that was a unanimous vote out of Senate Commerce and Human Resources uh, and sent to the, to the Senate floor with a due pass recommendation. What the bill would do is provide um, workman's compensation insurance for psychological injuries incurred on the job by our first responders. And our first responders do the work that many of us uh, couldn't do, maybe don't want to do, but they sure keep us safe. And on a regular basis, they see things that we would only see in our nightmares. And over time, that adds up. So the fact that this went to the floor with a unanimous vote, with a due pass recommendation, was a really powerful statement coming out of the committee. So you work with the uh, police and fire over probably the better part of a year. Um, these injuries are, they seem, the, the psychological injuries seem more prevalent than most people know. Last year, more police and fire nationwide committed suicide than died in the line of duty. Talk about the public safety, aside from the, the, the first responder themselves who have to deal with psychological injuries, multiply that over who knows how many police, fire, EMTs, how that can affect their job and the public safety aspect uh, of this issue. Just like any job, we know that a, a happy person is able to go home to their families and live a normal life. First responders have a very difficult job and that manifests a host of different ways. Um, they have some of the highest alcohol and substance abuse rates of any field. They have some of the highest divorce rates of any field. They have some of the highest suicide rates of any field. And so we know that uh, first responders who are struggling because of previous incidents or a number of incidents that have compounded upon themselves begin to develop signs and symptoms of somebody who's injured just like you would with a back injury. It's just that it's a psychological injury. And those psychological injuries take their toll and make it harder and harder for them to focus at their job, be present at their job. What this bill would do would make it so that they get the counseling they need, we keep them in their job, they're able to keep working, which means the experienced guys, the experienced women, they're the folks that stay on the front line instead of having to introduce brand new people to our police, fire, first responders, and dispatchers. It just seems like the right thing to do. It is the right thing to do. This is the right thing to do, especially when you heard the testimony inside of the committee from the, the people who are suffering from broken hearts because they've had a son or a daughter who's committed suicide because of the post-traumatic stress caused by their job. When you heard these stories, it was heartbreaking, heart-wrenching. This state should have done this a long time ago.